Hi, Deck Chimp here. Um, sorry for the second video within a 24 hour period. I try not to cram too much down you guys' throats, but there's not a lot of you, so I suppose you'd be interested in watching my videos, whether I had one a week or 50 a day. Um, I'm not going to do 50 a day because that would be crazy. But here's some practical reasons why to become vegan. Um, and of course, there's reasons besides practical. There's, you know, you've got your ethical and your moral reasons why to be vegan, but um, you probably already know about those. And if you don't know about those, um, I'm going to put a video in the corner called, um, it's, it's from veganvideo.org, uh, which I got, thank you, um, Kangaroo Elaine. Um, uh, so I wanted to discuss some practical reasons, and if those aren't really good for you, um, or, or didn't make too much sense, and you're more of a uh, touchy-feely person, then you can watch the video in the corner. I'm kind of both, so I found, I found it really powerful, and it was a, it was a feel-good video, since I'm already vegan, so it made me feel like I was doing something for, uh, for the planet. If you watch it and you're not vegan, then, you know, you might feel like crap, but that's probably what you need. Um, real quick, I wanted to talk about some of my past videos, uh, and I want to do so without running out of time. Um, some, my, my past videos, uh, have, well, for one, they have some, some audio problems where it looks like I'm talking five seconds after the words come out of my mouth, and that's basically just because of my webcam. Um, I'm sorry. I'd suggest that you go and do something else while you're watching the video because that might just make it easier for you if it really bothers you, but I'm not going to buy a camera because this one works fine. Uh, second off, that last video, rats are people too. I don't actually think rats are people. It's kind of satirical in its own respect, but it was kind of about animal rights, so it's, it's in between. Anyway, uh, to get back to the topic, uh, practical reasons to be vegan. Uh, I kind of know what I'm going to say now because I just said it like 10 minutes ago but ran out of time, so I'm going to try and condense it. Um, soy milk costs a lot less than regular milk, um, about a dollar to $2, to, uh, to $2 less per gallon, depending on how you buy it. Rice milk. It's down there as well. Uh, almond milk, a little bit more expensive I've found, but I actually like almond milk better than the other two, though I can stand it. Like if I wanted to just drink a kind of milk straight, I would drink almond milk straight, and I don't think I would be able to have the other two straight, but you know, uh, rice milk and soy milk, they're fine in oatmeal, they're fine in cereal. It's not that big of a deal. So um, yeah, you'll be uh, very happy with the savings on just that alone. But the big guy would be saving your money on meat. Meat is rather expensive. It's expensive at restaurants, it's expensive when you buy it from Costco, and you might think that it's cheap when you buy it from Costco, but go buy some tofu. Uh, you know, I can get about 56 ounces of tofu, or 318, oh, wow, sorry, 54 ounces, 18, ounces in a three pack of tofu for three dollars at Costco. Three, three dollars. Okay, can you get a 54 ounce steak for three dollars? I don't think so. And mine's more nutrient. And mine actually tastes better if it's prepared right. Um, and that is my matter of opinion, but if it tastes better to me, my money is the same as your money, so it, and I save a whole lot of it. So um, I would estimate, uh, let's see, 54 ounces of meat, eh, give or take. Let's let's even let's even go uh, really really conservative on this estimate and say that half of the meat that you eat is burgers, you know, burger meat that you're paying maybe maybe three dollars per 16 ounces of it for. So 54 ounces that makes it you know around ten dollars for the amount that I'm getting for three dollars. And then let's say that the other half is uh, you know, good good steak that you're buying for a nice family dinner and you're paying, you know, five dollars a pound, so closer to like seventeen dollars for that amount. So 
in between there, say 13, 14 bucks to my $3. So let's say you buy that much every week because what I just stated was the amount of tofu that I'll buy for about a week for myself. Uh, $3 a week, that's $12 a month. $13 a week, you're looking at, uh, oh, sorry, $52 a month. So 52 or 12 saving $40 a month, that's $480 a year per person on that on just that amount of food. So, um, I mean, just thinking about it from that perspective, you're saving so much money and you're eating healthier. So that, um, and then that brings me to my next point, and that's health. <sighs> you're gonna be a lot healthier. I mean, I didn't believe it at all, because I tend to see uh, you know the stereotypical vegan and they do pop up every now and then the really pale guy who's like oh yeah I don't eat any meat and I feel just fine um, you're gonna find those people I'm sorry I don't think they represent a vast majority of vegans because most vegans don't pop up to you and go I'm vegan it's it just happens to be the pale guy who works at your Chili's who says hey I'm vegan and look at me and you're like wow I'm glad I eat meat. Um, you'll find yourself to be a lot healthier as long as you regulate the nutrients coming into your body. Uh, you will have to eat more often per day, but you'll be eating, I'm sure, more quickly because it doesn't take as long to eat vegetables as it does to eat steak because you have to chew steak on an average about 50 times and you have to chew vegetables on average about 15 times. So I don't know if, if that, I mean, it's faster okay you'll feel more energetic you will feel less weighed down because the average colon of a 40 year old male and a 45 year old female is spackled with 10 to 15 pounds of undigested meat so you're you're vegan for a few months that's gone you see these advertisements for colon cleanse what do you think it gets rid of all that undigested meat and you all of a sudden lose 25 pounds. It's because it's clearing out your digestive system. That stuff doesn't get clogged in your stomach. If you think about eating vegetables as opposed to eating meat, think about doing addition as opposed to long division. It takes you a lot less time to do addition than it does to do long division. So why not just do the addition if you honestly had the choice? Stuff tastes better. And that's just my opinion. I, I, I don't really think there's a way to totally screw up eating vegetables or fruit or nuts or beans. You can cook it just about any way and it'll end up tasting all right. Or you can not cook it. You can eat it raw. Meat, if meat's not prepared in a certain way that you grew up eating it or that you like eating it, for most people, you don't like it. A, a lot of people like their meat more on the rare side. Some people like it really, really cooked. But if it's not to that standard, then you start getting annoyed. All right, running out of time here. Um, so the final practical point that I want to bring up is that, ooh, this is an interesting one. Um, for those of you that have had bowel problems, uh, and those of you, you know what I'm talking about. Sitting on the toilet for 10 to 15 minutes, once a day, you will never, ever experience that problem in the frequency that you do now on a vegan diet. Eliminating the dairy, eliminating the meat, you will realize just how bad you had it before as soon as you sit down on the crapper. I'm, I know it sounds silly. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. All right. You will realize, I mean, and I was one of these people who, who I was either diarrhea or constipated every other day. I've never dealt with that problem since I became vegan. You are, your, your digestive tract is just so regulated and it's, it's because you're eating what you're supposed to eat. And I would love to have you post a video response or just even a comment. I, I'd be happy to argue with you all day long on this issue. And, you know, seeing these, seeing meat eaters argue about, about how, how, oh, well, you don't know that that that's right and uh, you know and I'll say well you don't know you haven't tried you haven't tried my diet I've tried your diet and I've tried my diet okay uh, eight seconds left um, this was a fun video so thank you for watching guys uh, subscribe